In Waikele, a rock slide sent two people to the hospital. Sarah Madison joins us with more on that. Sarah? Joe, a lot has happened today because of the weather, but I want to start off with the two injured men. Officials tell us it could have been worse. At the Waikele bunkers on the self-storage property, Honolulu Fire tells us two men were hit by fallen rocks while loading furniture. The men, ages 50 and 52, had serious injuries to the head, arm, and legs and were taken to the hospital. A third man who was with them refused treatment. Officials say some of the rocks that fell were about four feet in diameter. Earlier in the day, not boulders, but a tree fell on top of this woman's car. I heard a sound and I thought it was a car accident. And I looked down from my apartment, it was the tree on top of my car. This happened over on Sheridan Street and the city was called to remove it. No one was hurt. I was, was about your... to go to work. Um, I was supposed to start at 10. So now I, I had to call in today because I have no ride. And even if I go there, I'm already late. Over in Mapuna Puna, many of the parked vehicles were halfway underwater by midday. Police had to block off access to Kilihau and Ahua streets. So right now, I don't even know if I can get out because if the car might die out, that's the problem. So, uh, I don't know. I just got a chance and go that way. It's shorter unless I go the other way. We're told for the past three weeks, crews cleared the storm drains. But with the high tide, this low-lying area continues to flood. Last time my brick get rusted because of the flooding, so hopefully they can fix this part soon. Something we don't see often is the Waianae coast getting flooded. The rain also brought in mud and rocks on the road, making for a difficult commute. Switching over to power outages, Hawaiian Electric reported at least one in Iaea affecting more than 1,600 customers. Bad weather caused the U.S. Navy-owned utility pole to split, which caused HECO circuits to trip. Joe.